When you go to create your first tab in Tab Edit, there are certain things to consider when getting started. In this lesson, we will show you how to make a folder for your tabs. Number two, discuss the new tablature window. Number three, show you the default settings for the new tab. Number four, show you how to change those defaults. Before we start entering notes into a new arrangement, we need to find a place to save our files. The best place to do this is either on your desktop or in your file called My Documents. I personally like to keep everything in My Documents. So let's open up My Documents and let's right click in the white area, go down to New, Folder, click on that, and now we can rename this folder. Uh, you can name your folder whatever you want. In this case, I think I will name this My Tabs. So now I have a folder in which I can save all of my tabs in. Let's go ahead and shut this screen down and let's open up our tab edit program. Now we're going to want a, to start a new arrangement. So let's go up to File, click it Open, come down to New, and you're going to see a screen that comes up like this. Depending on which one of these options we pick, the tab edit program will set up the screen for us. We can either go with mandolin, banjo, guitar, bass, piano, accordion, or drum. For these lessons, we're going to be dealing with guitar tablature. So if we click Guitar Standard, our program will open up certain default options for us. Go ahead and click OK. You can see here that now we have a new screen. We have a tab bar that's set up for six strings for our guitar. It's also set up for standard tuning. You'll see here that we're going to be in 4-4 four, four time. Also in our MIDI or playback section, you'll see that we're set up for 120 beats per minute and that the sound that you'll hear when you play it back will be an acoustic guitar with still strings. Okay, this is the way we have set up our screen for a guitar standard. If we had wanted to use some other type of instrument, we would have ended up with different defaults. If you go to File, Open New, and let's try, say, Banjo. Let's open that up. And you'll see that now I've ended up with five strings, and the tuning is set up for Open C, banjo tuning. And if you go to our MIDI file, you will find that we're still at 120 beats per minute, but now our playback sound has become a banjo. So you can see how setting up a new file, we have certain defaults which the program gives us that we, we do not have to put in ourselves. Let's go back to new, open up Guitar Standard again, Click OK. Also, by default, you're going to find out that when you open a new file, the program is going to give you 24, 24 measures to start with. This is the defaults that we have when we open a new file under Standard Guitar. Now, once we're in here, we can go ahead and change any one of these defaults at any time. If we don't like 4-4 time, we can go up to score. We can click on time signature and we can change our time signature. We can change it to 2-4 if we like. If we want 2-4 time, we can either change it for an individual measure or a group of measures or in this case, since it's new, we could change we could put in 24 and it would change all 24 measures to 
two, four time. Hit apply. And now all of our measures are set up for two, four time. We don't want to do that, so let's go back to four, four. Make sure measures one through 24 are set up. Hit apply. And now we're back up to four, four time again. We can also change our ruler if we want. Right now it's, it's set up for eighth notes, meaning that you can only put eight notes into a measure. At any time during our arranging, if we want 16th notes, we can come up to display, click, click on 16th notes, and now we're able to put 16th notes or 16 individual notes into each measure. But a good place for us to start is with quarter notes. Another way you can change this is by clicking on this little note over here. Right now it's set at a quarter note. We can click it to a 16th no uh, 30 second note. And we can keep right on clicking until we get right back to eighth notes again. We can also go into our BD file and we can change what our playback sounds like. We have all these different options provided in the program. Much of the time I personally don't care for acoustic steel guitar. I like a softer sound such as acoustic guitar nylon. Or if you want a funky guitar sound, you might try a electric guitar muted or possibly a jazz sounding electric guitar. You, you can change these at any time you want for your arrangement. But let's go back and let's stick with the defaults right now, which would be a steel guitar. Uh, we can also change the beats from per minute. This is 120 beats per minute. If we were doing something in a bluegrass style, we might go up to 240 beats a minute, or we'll be able to change the speed of our song in any way we want. So when you click on New File, and you see this screen here, you'll know that whenever you click on something, you're going to get certain defaults with the program but once you're there, you'll be able to change any one of those defaults to suit your own needs.